This piece of shit. I, you know, I can't even tell you how much of a big disappointment it was. Once I figured out how shitty this video was. It took me, at the time, the longest to do. It also took me a little while to film it completely. It's an incoherent mess. It's nonsense. It's stupid. It's fucking retarded. It's reference having. I mean, it's worse than reference having. This whole fucking video is nothing but just references after a reference, after another reference, and they make absolutely no sense. They make absolutely no sense with the plot. They make absolutely no sense with the video. They're not even fucking funny. It's retarded. I mean, the whole fucking thing is stupid. I say it right in the descriptions. It's a fucking waste of time. And I thought it was impressive when I made this piece of shit. Because originally, I thought I had something going on with all the references and the fact that it took me forever. And I was doing new shit in this video, too. Like, um, uh, muzzle flares. Like, full-on good muzzle flares. Um, though there is a couple special effects that look like ass. And I was just doing a gazillion special effects after a gazillion special effects. It's just, it was... It was just a piece of shit. It was a pain he asked to work on. The biggest one yet. Uh, it, it fucking sucked. It really sucked ass. But the thing of this story, it's got such... It's probably got the best story of the bunch. And how deep this shit goes. This video actually started out... Not as Crank Part 1, but it started out as an entirely different video. Just entirely different. It was meant to be basically like a Call of Duty mixed in with some like Metal Gear solid CQC fighting kind of deal and gunfights with, you know, and then do the CQC shit, dis disarm the gun in a cool fashion. It was supposed to be pretty much a cool action film, um, originally, and I didn't have a camera at the time. I didn't have a decent computer at the time. I didn't know how to work with this shit. I didn't have a fucking clue. Michael was the guy to go for as far as this shit goes. He had a camera. He had a fucking computer. He had a Mac. I think he had a Mac. He had high-tech shit. I mean, he had everything. I got the high-tech shit because I know what I'm doing. But at the time, he was the dude to go to. And I remember filming um, the first part of the video. And how it started out was basically there's a soldier in Russia... And he's shooting a bunch of Russian guys. And, you know, he looks really cute. You know, he, he's supposed to be the cool guy shooting the guns and stuff and doing great Kung Fu and shit. And there's... <laughs> Michael came up with this idea. And he's like, you know, what if I come out of the leaf pile and then kill the, kill the guy? And I said, okay, that's cool. And my, uh, Michael was always, from the beginning, he was always planning to play the villain. He was always meant to be Makarov, from the fucking beginning. He was always meant to be Makarov. And, um, and then, of course, he popped out of the bushes, and he, he said something so fucking stupid. He's like, this is Russia. And then he killed me, and then there's a black and white, and... <laughs> black and white and uh, slow-mo and shit and the song that was playing in the background was like some ACDC song that was supposed to fit the video it, it no it didn't I mean I don't have the original footage he deleted the original footage but whatever uh, and then when I tried to film it after that scene it ended up being junk it ended up being fucking garbage um his next door not his next door neighbor but his neighbor filmed with us, and I think Hunter filmed with us too, uh, Michael's brother, and, you know, it's just, it, it turned into a, such a stupid fucking movie, it just turned retarded, like, we had this, I had this whole thing planned, where I was gonna do all this cool shit, and I was gonna play Price, but I was gonna play a completely different Price, but, anyways, I was, from the beginning, I was always gonna be Price, he was always gonna be Makarov, and... You know, that's how the story was going to be. But, you know, it was supposed to be just a simple video. It wasn't supposed to have a complex story like Chaos has got. Um, and, you know, we it, it just turned into fucking stupidity. Just, I remember it was me, his neighbor, and Michael, and we're filming 
and we're acting like the characters, and then they pull out this map and they say, well, we're going to go here, and then we're going to veer off and go to Starbucks. I'm like, what the fuck? What is this supposed to be, a fucking comedy? I was trying to take this shit seriously. I don't want it to be fucking retarded. It ended up being stupid. And even the scene that we did film that I thought was cool at the time was fucking lame. So that was a disaster. And then I tried to do it again the second time. I tried to redo most of it. And this time I was going to be Price. And then Isaiah was going to be Gaz, but he's going to be a completely different Gaz. He wasn't going to be English Gaz. He was going to be a Spanish Gaz. And Gaz is actually an acronym for his entire name. And I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. But anyways, um, yeah, Isaiah gave up on that idea too. He didn't want to do it. We filmed for like 10 minutes and he's like, I'm, I'm not in the mood for this shit. This is fucking stupid. I... This this is retarded. And it was fucking retarded. It sucked ass. It sucked ass the film. It was just boring the film. And then out came Crank Part One. Now, Crank Part One was basically supposed to be as humorous as Crank High Voltage. <laughs> References was just there because I thought they were funny or I thought they would work. They didn't. There was also Call of Duty references in there that nobody caught on to. I want you dead, but get me the doctor. Yeah. You want a good example of me merging the Call of Duty 4 story with the video? Just watch Chaos. Both of them. Chaos Part 1 and 2. It's supposed to be basically the reimagining of piece of shit, but way fucking better. It way it makes way more fucking sense. The characters are way more fleshed out. Everything makes complete sense. And it's not fucking boring. That's another thing. It doesn't bore you the fucking tears. <laughs> like this fucking piece of shit does. That's exactly why I call it piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> I mean, basically... There, of course, there's crank references in there. Liver is gone. <laughs> Doctor, I'm missing my liver. I need. I don't know. Just about anyone I watched it didn't understand the story. They didn't understand what the fuck it was about. Nobody. I'm the only one understood it because I'm the only, I'm the one that filmed it, and filming these scenes were so fucking boring. They were fucking boring. Doing everything. Doing the first scene all the way up to almost the last scene. They were fucking boring. The first uh, scene I actually filmed was the scene with the the, the Mel Gigolo. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. No! Don't hurt me! Jesus, that, well, that was a great fucking scene. That and when Mikhaev comes in. Bryce! And then I fuck up Mikhaev's accent too. That was satisfying. For me, the blind man. And then Bruce says, Winchester, Winchester. Money for my mother van. Aid for the army. What the hell's my Winchester? Oh, boy. Most of the video was just fucking, 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 fucking stupid. It was just a fucking disaster. I'm gonna get to the first thing I have to talk about crank the reason why this video got so many views and it also got the most dislikes over likes is due to the fact that people thought it was crank the movie part one because it's a pretty hard film to find for free and in full detail it's <laughs> and, and that's where all the views came from it's just because because of clickbaiting basically so um, anyways, when you watch the trailer of The Crank, and I remember watching this, and I was thinking, holy shit, that is such a cool movie. You're supposed to be dead! Your whole crew is history. <laughs> the trailer was cool, but the movie I heard was just as stupid as High Voltage. And it's just as dumb. Another reference I had 
and it was a small one, was when I'm sitting there, and, you know, you got the Rocks theme song in the background, and I have milk on my little mustache. It, it was a stupid stash. I don't even know why I had it. I had this, like, little pencil stash, supposed to look like a Frenchman. It was retarded. But it's so delicious. <laughs> And then there was a a scene where I'm explaining Makayev Killer. They were all killed by an eight game, but there are no or any footprints. Are you crazy? No. Fucking word to me. You're driving 25 minutes. Never a sigh, no throat clearing, nothing. Those were the biggest ripoffs. Clay Goldman is a character from House of the Dead 2. And his voice actor is ridiculous. Reacher to rule over man. This is the final battle. Yeah, I thought it'd be funny to say, hey, look, the, the one of the bad guys is a guy that has a goofy voice. <laughs> also, the voice actor for Dickhead. I, I now do like Shao Kahn. Um voice for dickhead at the time i was doing a, i am a real dickhead and i am dickhead and i was doing that or i was trying to do this deep voice shit and it sounded really fucking stupid 12 hours back no consumption even to nurse office two detectives it's just a piece of shit it's i mean it's so fucking boring i can't even think of anything good to say about it except that it's accumulation of bullshit oh wait a moment there's one more thing i can't mention the main thing i want to get to is Crank Part 2. Um, basically, it was supposed to continue. Crank Part 1. It, it's it's kind of like uh, Chaos Part 2, where, you know, Price goes to Russia, he fights the guards, and then he uh, beats up Makarov. There's the plot twist. So it's not as great. It wasn't great at all. Um, and, you know, Dickhead is revealed to be the bad guy, and then he fights Dickhead for, like, two seconds, and then... That's it. That that's it. I mean, the difference between chaos and then this video was that um, chaos makes way more sense, and chaos is way more fleshed out and interesting, and it's not boring. Here, I'm just gonna point out specifics here. Um, Price didn't have a uh, he wasn't any relations with anyone. Basically, the plot twist was instead of being he's a god. It is that he, he knew that Makarov and Goldman were coming. And he he plants a fake body with a fake organ in it. And they believe they took the liver. And then he's just acting like... It's stupid. It was so fucking stupid. I even had a whole scene try to explain. Like, the actual scene that's going... Like, when they're doing the operation and shit. It was dumb. Uh, Makarov did not have a backstory at all he did not have any backstory there was no chernobyl story there was no backstory to him no ties to him being in the ultra nationalist at all none of that shit there was no explanation of anything of makarov he wasn't godlike he was just a normal human that somehow can fight not uh, what the fuck ever it was dumb i in the fight scene he gets his arm broken like three times and the fight scene was really shitty it was garbage the fight scene sucked fucking ass. I'm just gonna say that right now. It fucking sucked. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Clave Goldman was not dickhead. Clave Goldman was actually just a separate entity. He wasn't dickhead. He was just a separate entity. And the only time you see him, he it's just Michael in the trench coat. And he just raises his hands on the porch. He's on the porch and he raises his hands and then all of a sudden the environment changes and stuff and Price fights the field commander. And also, Bruce played two characters. He played a secret uh, sniper that was with Price, and then he played the field commander that was with the Russians. That's what Dom's character is. He's basically a merger of the field commander and the spy in one. So it makes, it makes sense, <laughs> and it's easy to film instead of having two separate guys played by the same guy. It's... It's so fucking... That was stupid. Um, <coughs> um, there was no Chernobyl dancing. Either. There's absolutely no Chernobyl dancing. And 
the quotes were stupid. They were so stupid. And instead of the field commander calling in the men and saying, intruder, intruder coming in, instead, Price kills a couple guards. You know, I try to make it look cool and stab them or whatever the fuck I did. And I say, Russians are a bunch of pig rapists or a bunch of bear rapists. And all of a sudden they go, what? He said that about us? Let's go kill him! And then they run out the bedroom door and and then I do this whole Vakuda thing. I did this like step thing where I say, where all the soldiers say, step one, haul oh, ass, and step two, reload the guns, and step three, walk up the stairs. <laughs> it was so fucking dumb. And then of course Bruce, uh, being the funny guy he is, would show his complete ass and moon the camera while he's moving. <laughs> that was one of the only funny parts of the whole video. And um, and then Michael would. You know, he's Makarov, and he's looking at nukes and shit, you know, on the computer. He's looking at nukes because he's an evil terrorist. Ooh, he's an evil fucking terrorist. You know, so instead of being a sadistic, godlike asshole with a sense of humor that Makarov is now, he was just this unlikable, terrorist-loving shithead, stereotypical retard. And his accent wasn't a faint Russian accent. He had a really thick Russian accent, and he wasn't intimidating, he wasn't likable, he didn't have a backstory, he was a fucking lame character. Price was a lame character. Uh, you know, just about everything in that video was pretty fucking lame, except for Bruce's mooning on the camera. That that was the only fun part. <laughs> just because it's so random, like, here's the soldier pulling down his pants and he sees full ass. <laughs> and then there's a scene where I walk inside the house and then all of a sudden, here comes this, they, Makarov calls in the demon. And it's basically just uh, <laughs> Michael in this goofy Halloween mask with, like, white hair and shit. And he's got a machete in his hand. And it was supposed to be kind of a cool scene, but it was fucking retarded. It was so fucking stupid. And the reason why I didn't have Crank Part 2 was because the hard drive that was that the video files were on got wiped out. It took a shit. The disc broke. It took a shit. The hard drive was crashed. And I couldn't recover. I also had some really good v videos on there. And they all got wiped out. And that happened right before junior year. And it fucking, it pissed me off. That whole summer was just a pisser. But, yeah. Anyways, that was Crank. I was also explaining Crank Part 2. That never happened. Thank God they never happened, or else I never would have had a reason to redo this shit at all. I never would have had an excuse to redo it and make a way better fucking film. So, there you go. My name is Jeff Chelios, and today is the day.